Hey hey! The last digit of your like on this video by each who you are from Melon Playground, and the last digit of your subscription to my channel will show your Melon Playground item. So go down right now, subscribe and give me a like. Look at the screen. Notice the last digit of your like and your subscription and write in the comments who you are from Melon Playground. It's simple, if your like is number 8 and the last digit of your subscription is number 5, you're a lemon and a cactus. Show your imagination and enjoy the show. Hello dear friends you are on Melon Funk channel in this video we will talk about the pros and cons of Melon Playground Update 20.0 but before I start the video I want to say a huge thank you as always to these guys for being in my video if you want to get in my next videos, it's quite simple you need to subscribe to the channel, put a like, write your top comment well and do not forget to subscribe to the cart link is in the description. I won't waste your time and have fun watching it. It's been a while since the release of the latest 20.0 update. After sharing some time with this update, I've highlighted a few pros and cons for myself that I want to share with you, because this update is probably the most controversial in recent memory. 19.0 is exactly the same update in its silliness and substance, so let's talk about that. Up until recently, the developers were going their separate ways. The game got updated, the game got populized, the audience got bigger and bigger, and the game got prettier and prettier. But that somehow stopped being the case lately. I don't know what the developers did wrong with the game and in principle why they chose such a development vector, but to me it is definitely wrong. Let's think about what the developers did wrong. As for me it is the addition of new items like cars, scooters and so on. I will explain why this is stupid, because Melon Playground is a game for which you create new items to create other items. Adding new blocks, adding new mechanisms is a logical story for Melon Playground, but adding new, let's say vehicles is very stupid, because players do not like to play Melon Playground, primarily because there is no motivation, because Melon Playground was a sandbox, in which people could compete simply in the beauty of buildings. And why now build conditional cars if there is no Natabnasty, because there is already a working GI, quite interesting, new items, I do not really understand, as a player Melon Playground, in me there is no motivation to build these items. So why this minus applies to the update 20.0? And as for me everything is simple, because we expected a little bit different, we expected a new map editor, we expected new interesting blocks, we expected anything, because this is update 20.0, it should be a global update, especially its anniversary. Remember the 10.0 update, it was something with something, really cool and interesting event, when is now 20.0 was something uninteresting, really added just blocks that can be colored and this is a real update 20.0, we all expected this, as for me the developers have done a complete lame, when they added a new vote we were waiting that every month we will be sent items that we want to add to this game, we wanted new characters, then where are they now, we are again waiting, we are waiting, how many times we have to wait to come out really something. Good. That's not the crux of the whole problem, if it had stayed that way I don't think Melon Playground would have been affected in any way. But now I'll explain what's wrong with the game after the 20.0 update. And that's the ads. The actual ads have become three or four times bigger. That is, the developers are forcing you to buy a subscription on the spot just to play comfortably. When as before, advertising appeared once every 10 to 15 minutes, it did not really bother anyone. Now advertising appears constantly. Which is really annoying. The developers force you to buy a subscription, but it would be okay if you had a subscription and you could buy absolutely any items in the workshop without ads, but that's not the case. Buying a subscription you have essentially no privileges, except the absence of advertising, and advertising in the workshop for almost every yearly item, it all remains. So is there a point to it? If the point is to subscribe, I don't know why you should pay. Big enough money for such an actually lately average game, I don't know. Write your opinion of course in the comments, as for me it is not worth its money. Despite the fact that the update 20.0 is quite average and in fact most of the time it is not interesting, it does not attract attention, it does not want to spend a lot of time in it, yes added a new background, yes added a couple of items and color editor on some blocks, all this can certainly be attributed to the, and that's what we're going to talk about today. Not everything is so bad in Melon Playground, I hope for a bright future of our favorite game. But despite the fact that I have hopes for this game, it is still the game thanks to which I make these videos and you are still listening to me. Update 20.0 is not only idle, but it's also completely unoptimized. 
Just think about how many bugs we have already found and how many bugs we are going to find in this update. Remember the politics of Melon Playground. The update was released immediately, only found a huge number of bugs, and a huge number of errors in optimization, the developers immediately solved these problems, they immediately tried to fix what they may not have done, perhaps somewhere made a mistake, it is normal, we are all humans and it is quite logical. But now the way Melon Playground is incomprehensible to me, what are the developers doing to make the game better? And nothing, they roll out an update after two months that is completely uninteresting. I would still understand if this update was completely perfect. But no, it wasn't. There was no cooing at all on the iPhone after this update. It's very strange, I don't know how the developers could let this happen and why the updates are released on different devices, on iPhone, and on Android this time the update for some reason came out earlier on iPhone, that time for some reason on Android. It is maximally illogical why the developers are so negligent about their game. Back when there were absolutely no ads before, there was absolutely no game on ideas, we could all understand this and forgive, because the developer is trying alone, just works and that's all, but now there is a whole studio working on the game, a huge amount of advertising, accordingly, a huge amount of income brings this game. And you are so negligent to your audience that it seems to me that this is just a brazen attitude to your audience. Write your opinion of course in the comments. I do not understand why the developers chose such a vector of development, remember there was a cool update with lighting and after this update for some reason everything went wrong. I do not understand why so and I just hope that the developers maybe hear me, maybe hear their audience and make some conclusions. And if you have gone on the development vector of constantly adding items, you should do it all the time. So Melon Playground depends on updates. Constant constant, because there's a huge number of bugs, that's one. And two, the game just needs it. The audience needs it. And you don't do drops for two months, and when you do drop, you just add a color editor for some blocks and clothes and a herringbone? Are you serious? You're the one losing out on this, you're losing downloads. It's your interests first and foremost, it's your profit. Or do you care so little about the project that you are ready to abandon it and start something new? But as Arshavan once said, your expectations are your problems. Look at this, YouTuber's activity has dropped to the point where it's impossible. We are trying to work on content and to be honest I myself am already thinking of moving to something else, because simply the idea is not left. And at the same time I realize that if I move to another game, I will lose a huge number of auditoriums, after all, my channel was based on this and will be mostly associated with this game. But I believe that I still have loyal people who will stay with me despite the fact that I have moved to another game and will not watch me first of all as a person, as a person, and not just because of the fact that I am filming to the next disadvantage I would like to refer to the constant change of names. This is not good in principle for the game, after all, first of all Melon Playground is Melon Playground, not Melon Sandbox, not Melon PG and so on. How many name changes it has been, I can't even honestly tell you, because it happens all the time for some reason. I don't know what's going on with the developers of Melon Playground, maybe they must have already started to sue someone, because I can't explain either the constant change of names. Some explanations, I would still understand, but when they constantly change the name without any reason or convention, it's very strange and I'll never personally understand this MOBA myself. But even though we've been criticizing Melon Playground for most of the video, there are pluses to it. And I just wanna hope that those pluses grow into something more, that the pluses become more, that they start to outweigh those minuses. And the first pluses are of course the atmosphere. Melon Playground is always about atmosphere, about its mystery, but lately of course Melon Playground started to lose it, maybe the backgrounds are somehow to blame, because they became too light, too bright. In general, I would like them to be accompanied by big pasillacs, so that looking at the backgrounds, he and says, you see some new secrets. Anyway, unfortunately the pass halts and secrets themselves are also lacking. We would like something that would scare us, mysterious. Basically, the audience is always attracted by a mystery. And while this is missing, I hope that the developers will bring back what they started with. They started with some mysteries and secrets, something mysterious always scared us and always attracted us. Still, I hope that the developers, as I said earlier, will return to that. The glasses are trying to put us in a New Year's mood, to instill this New Year's tradition in us. It's a pity that they didn't try on the new background in the menu, 
because they used to do something new all the time, now it's basically they just brought back last year's background and like, here's a new background for you, but it's not like that. It's exactly the same as last year, the olds I think so to speak will remember and it's frankly frustrating. It's very cool that thematic updates are something that developers always want to do, let's say a cool update was with Halloween, very cool update with New Year, but unfortunately it's definitely not an update that should be called 20.0, it's more like 19.2 or 19.5, but not 20.0 for sure. Plus I would also like to attribute really very interesting ideas that they are trying to implement let's say changing the color of different blocks it's really interesting it can be useful but still it's really not enough just we are used to that the developers give us more I hope that still in the future they will do everything more often just once a month or once every two weeks as they used to do it they roll out an update they roll out something. Interesting constantly fixes bugs to me a eh? lot of content to you a lot of content and all around happy and happy well on this my already long view.